Hey folks, Chris Lito here, New Jersey, Delaware Bay, editor of the Fisherman Magazine, and grab one of these and sit back on a cold winter's day for your weekly video fishing report. I just got in from shoveling some snow, and ice fishing is still at the forefront in everybody's minds, everybody's activities. The Sweetwater, the Northern Lakes, all the way down to the mid-central Jersey region has safe ice. I wouldn't be surprised if South Jersey and Delaware start to see a little safe ice if this cold front and this cold snap continues. Lots of perch, lots of pickerel. Uh, we were at the swimming area at one of the reservoirs here. Had a couple pickerel the other day, and a bullhead even grabbed a shiner on a tip-up. Saltwater fishing is really minimal right now. I did get one report of a nice big 22-pound tog weighed in at the tackle box, and that's going to be in the fishing reports online this week. The gentleman was fishing in a private boat out of Wildwood, but he's from the Holmdale area, so he weighed it in at the tackle box. Another big double-digit 20-plus pound tog for this season. It's really been an incredible year for blackfish and the boats are still in the water and ready to go. They just need those breaks in the weather. We've had constant storms, constant snow showers and activities, ice and rain. So if those boats can get a break, Belmar, Point Pleasant, Neptune, I know they're all anxious to get out and sail. Down in Delaware, you've got the Rehoboth Star that likes to tog on the weekend. So don't put that out of your mind just yet. Cod is basically limited to Rhode Island and New York. I know some people, uh, Akira at True World said people are going from his store and they're going up to Rhode Island and, and to New York on some cod trips. So, And they're doing pretty well. But cod fishing in Jersey, I don't know a lot of people have been trying it with the weather and they haven't been able to get out. But uh, from what I hear, it's been really slow on cod and lint. Uh, you got to check out our traveling angler section online and in the uh, fishing reports and print. We have some awesome advertisers, starting with uh, Bill Hiltz in Niagara. He talks about what's going on in the Niagara River and up there. But more importantly, as the cold winter months set in, the Traveling Angler features Cabo San Lucas, the Pisces fleet. Then you've got Captain Pete and Rainbow Runner and Stewart. You've got Captain Richie and Robbie on Southern Comfort in Isla Mirada. And Captain Bruce also in Isla Mirada. Those guys are hitting up some really nice fish. They're deep dropping on the reefs in 400 to 700 feet of water, plus they're live baiting kingfish, marlin, sailfish, tuna, you name it. Now's the time to think about a trip down south if you haven't already done so already. Let's look at some events coming up. The Atlantic City Boat Show is February 4th to 8th. That's going to be at the Convention Center in Atlantic City. You can check that out online at www.acboatshow.com. I'll be there. John DeBono will be there. We'll be giving away some great star pliers, some great star sunglasses if you come and sign up. So come see us at the AC Boat Show. If you're thinking about pulling the trigger, this is the show to do it. The boats there are going to be numerous. There's going to be real diversity when it comes to watercraft. So come down to AC and check it out. Following that show is the Marine Trades Association of New Jersey Boat Show. That'll be February 19th to the 22nd, and that's at Edison. You can check that out online, too. That's www.jerseyboatexpo.com. Check the events section. There's a ton of flea markets going on right now. And if you still need to have something to do while you drink your coffee, go on to thefisherman.com. We've got awesome video of the Costa Rica shootout. Also, the three-part series, the interview with Ken Westerfeld, the world record tog. Uh, contender, the guy that's a pending world record talk holder. Uh, Ken is going to be talking about how he caught that fish and what led him to catch that fish. So you can check that out online at thefisherman.com. For now, this is Chris Lito with The Fisherman Magazine and thefisherman.com. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to The Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.